guys, I want to speak to you about the importance of speaking affirmations into the mirror. Affirmations have completely changed my life. When people say, Laura, how are you so confident? How are you able to stand in your power? And I'm telling you, ladies, it was, it was because I was able to speak my affirmations in the mirror. But I want to share some things. Affirmation is stating a new reality. It's affirming something to be true. And it may not feel true to you right now. And that's a common thing I feel women have is that when they say the affirmations, they say, Laura, I'm looking in the mirror and I don't feel the words that are coming out of my mouth. I tell women to look in the mirror and tell themselves that they are beautiful, they are bold, they are courageous. And when they do it, they don't do it properly because they're telling themselves, this is a lie, this is a lie, this is a lie. Well, an affirmation is a statement and you have to affirm it. It's not going to feel right straight away, but that is no reason to give up and to stop. You have to keep on keeping on. You have to push through. You have to be willing. You have to have a burning desire that you want to feel confident. You need to have a burning desire that you want to feel like a brand new woman. My mentors told me, Laura, keep on saying your affirmations over and over again in the mirror. Look yourself in the eye. The first time I did it, do you think it felt comfortable for me? No, it didn't. I felt like a fraud. I felt like a liar. But listen, you have to believe. And if you look at the word believe, it has the word lie in it. Now, I'm not telling you to lie to yourself, but listen to this. You're already telling yourself you're not confident, you're unworthy. That's a lie anyway. So why don't you tell yourself a better lie? Tell yourself the, the, the truth, really, what God has said you are. But the lie to your old self that you are worthy, you are abundant, you are great, you are powerful, you are courageous, you are beautiful. You have to get comfortable with saying that. So I want to show you how I say my affirmations in the mirror every single morning. All you need is a bathroom, a bathroom mirror or a little handheld mirror. If you don't have a grand big bathroom, it's fine. But you need to, first and foremost, I'm going to turn my head to face the mirror now. Fix your posture. If you're saying it in the mirror and your posture's like this and you're hunched over and your head's down and you're, you're twiddling with your fingers, it's not going to do any good for anyone. So I need you to stand with your legs hip width apart, arms by your side, and I want you to look yourself in the mirror. Take a few deep breaths in and out. Just stay yourself in the mirror for a little while. What kind of feelings do you feel? What kind of feelings do you feel in your body when you look yourself in the mirror? Do you feel like, oh my God, this is so uncomfortable? Do you start laughing? It doesn't matter. Just keep the posture. Just keep looking at yourself. Now we need to say, you are worthy. Speak to the person in the mirror first. You are amazing. Laura Lyles, you are phenomenal. You are courageous. You are bold. Laura Lyles, you inspire me. Laura Lyles, I want to be just like you. Laura Lyles, you are phenomenal. You are great. You are worthy. Everybody loves you. People love you. Children love you. The trees, the birds love you and appreciate all the greatness you bring into this world. How did that sound, ladies? Like, seriously, it may feel really uncomfortable, right? Now I want you to say it in first person, all right? I want you to affirm it for yourself. This is where it may feel a little bit more uncomfortable, but you have to push through. You have to push through. If you want to feel confident, this is it. This is it. You don't have to have an audience watching you. You can do it by yourself, right? But this is what it's going to take. So face the mirror again. Do this with me. Posture. Just relax. I am worthy. I am phenomenal. I am abundant. I am a child of God. I am happy. I am healthy. I am wealthy. I am strong. I am a champion. I am loved by God. I am chosen by God. I am protected by God. I am so blessed. I am so grateful. I am open and willing to receive the abundant blessings that need to come in my life. I am abundant. I am abundant. I am the head, not the tail. I am above and not beneath. I am a lender, not a borrower. And everything I touch turns to gold. Ladies, I want you to start affirming your greatness. It's not a joke and it's not something to be played with. 
I don't want to make it sound cheesy and, you know, but the truth is you need to get in front of the mirror, go and speak your affirmations, keep on telling yourself you are worthy, you are valuable, keep on affirming it. And every time that little girl inside of you that wants to stop you and say, this is not true, you tell her stop, you tell her shut up. <laughs> Seriously, every time the little girl, the little Laura in me wants to pop up and try to make me doubt myself, I tell her to sit down, shut up, go, at, go, go, go somewhere else, right? Because the woman I am today is bold, is courageous. And this is how I start. I start telling yourself, I am confident. Close your eyes when you start to feel it. I am confident. I am worthy. I am powerful. In the name of Jesus. Yes. All right, ladies? Start speaking your affirmations. This is no joke. Go and speak them, all right? And let me know how you get on. All right, God bless.